Do you want to help me make a video? Uh. Say something to everybody. Happy New Year everyone. Happy New Year. Um, one of my goals this year is to try and do a little bit better job at posting a video or a thought every Sunday. Um, it's quite a commitment but I'm going to do my best. This week of course, uh, what else would we give a thought about but of course goals. Um, it may be likely since it's like January 6th that you've already given up your New Year's resolution but I hope that's not the case. Um, Unfortunately, that's often what happens with the New Year's resolutions is we get this brand new start, it's beginning of a new year, beginning of a new month, and off we go. Um, but then the same old habits and things come back to kind of haunt us and keep dragging us down. Um, I want to offer you some insight from Marvin J. Ashton that he gave back in 1984 in a talk called Choose the Good Part. It's a wonderful talk that was directed particularly to the sisters, uh, but of course it's applicable for everyone. Towards the end of the talk, he gives this quote. Set your goals. Without goals, you can't measure your progress. But don't be frustrated because there are no obvious victories. Remind yourself that striving can be more important than arriving. If you're striving for excellence, if you're trying your best day by day with the wisest use of your time and energy to reach realistic goals, you are a success. So often uh, we give up on our goals. So often when it hasn't gone right, when we didn't exercise yesterday, well, why should I exercise today? My goal's already gone. But that should not be the case. We need to remember that one of the biggest parts of goals is to encourage us just to be better. Um, I like the word resolution for a reason. The reason is uh, we can resolve to be our very best, that maybe we're not going to be 100% perfect on our goals. Maybe you have already bought something, you ate that chocolate you, sh you shouldn't have eaten, um, you didn't exercise like, exercise like you should have, whatever. Keep going. Keep, keep going with it as long as you can. That even if it's just a little bit, um, your progress is going to grow and you're going to become better and better. Um, he also says this. Commune daily with your Heavenly Father who knows you best of all. He knows your talents, your strengths, and your weaknesses. You are here on earth at this time to develop and refine those characteristics. I promise you, he will help you. He is aware of your needs. He is aware of your unanswered prayers. Keep in mind that I think the greatest resolution that we can always make, and of course hopefully it's a resolution we make every day, but it's to become closer to our Father in Heaven. Um, consider the goals that you have and ask yourself if you have goals to improve your scripture study or to go to the temple more often or to uh, just any part of your life to improve. doesn't matter what aspect you are, set the goal to improve. That's the important part of this new year is that you work to become better. Um, so I, I look forward, I hope you leave some comments, let me know what kind of things you're working on this new year and if there's anything I can do to help, to help keep you accountable, um, I will do my best. I'm working on some goals as well. Um, I hope to share some of those in an upcoming video because I'm very excited about many of them and, and want you to keep me accountable. So have a wonderful Sabbath and a wonderful week and of course a wonderful new year. Take care. Hey buddy, can you read us a scripture about New Year's resolutions?